Hello friends, good day. Welcome to our YouTube channel GKR Soft. In this video, we are going to discuss about what all are the types of ARXML will be used in the AutoSAR architecture. In our previous videos, we already discussed about multiple concepts in AutoSAR. I have mentioned all those videos in the description. You can watch it. Before start to discuss about different types of ARXML which will be used in AutoSAR, first we have to understand about what is ARXML. ARXML is a extension of the file. ARXML means AutoSAR Extended Markup Language. So in AutoSAR architecture, the file which will be used to represent software component or base software configuration or composition, everything will come up with the extension of ARXML. So different types of ARXML. So first one is Software Component Description ARXML. It has the details about software components. So what kind of ports it is and what kind of interfaces events and runnable entity all this information will be there in the software component descriptions file so it will be come up with the extension of swcd for an example here your application software component one underscore swcd.arxml so by seeing this you can say this file is for or owns yeah application software component or any other software component next one is composition arxml file so composition means it's a grouping of software component and connection between ports for an example delegation connector all this information will be there in the compositions swcd.arxml file it can it has the information about composition and what all are the group of software components will be used next one is base software module description file for an example bswmd.arxml file it has the information about schedulable entities measurement variables all those information will come up with the bswmd.arxml file and main important thing of ecu configuration file it will come up with ecuc dot well ecuc values dot arxml this basically used for all the base software configuration for an example of dcm dem det com os rt nvm etc all these come up with the underscore ecuc values dot arxml but nothing is mandatory you no need to i'm not saying to keep for ecu configuration as underscore ecs values no it's just a format and it is just a recommendation so all the people or who are you are working in a project might be they will come up with ecs values so then you can easily understand this is especially for ecu configuration especially in a way of base software configuration now we can see one by one software component description file how it will looks like for an example here i have created the application software component type i have named as application software component then it will have a ports it can be p port r port or pr port then in the internal behavior we will say the complete behavior about your software component so it has exclusive area or data type mapping reference and it can have a per instance memory configuration events port api option or inter runnable variable configuration and runnable configuration all these things will be there in the software component description files this is in format an example for you how to understand how exactly the software component description file will looks like composition software configuration file so it has major of grouping of software component here i have mentioned one software component and it can have a connectors especially in a way of delegation connector so creating a inner port or outer port all these things will be part of delegation connector so it can have a multiple software component prototype so this is a format an example i have mentioned it here but you can consider it will have a multiple software component prototype and multiple connector as well meaning multiple delegation connectors base software module description file especially this one has end it is for an example base software implemented entries and base software module description this is especially to say about your base software module and especially i will say one example where exactly we will use it you can consider you have application software component and it has a direct and tight coupling with the base software dcm side especially in a way of request download and it has upload and transfer exit all these data it will ask then in this kind of cases you should have a bswmd file it says about base software module description so for mainly it will have a base software called entity and schedulable entity and measurement values all these things will be part of base software module description file ecu configuration file here i have taken example for dcm but you can have the same kind of structure for dem and nvm and everything your configuration is based on your parameter 
definition file so multiplicity based on that you can do the configuration so whenever you are doing a configuration eta stack or vector or any other stack then finally these kind of files will be generated or whenever you are just doing modification and it will be reflected in such a kind of files so here i have taken an example for dcm but the same thing will be applicable for dem nvm and all so these all are the general format files will be used in the autosar architecture hope you have a clear idea about what all the different types of arxml will be used in the autosar architecture thanks for watching this video if you like it please share it with your friends if you want to stay with us for more technical content then please subscribe our channel thank you so much have a nice day